me, Mandir Kaur, and the co-pilot for the today's flight is Sonam. So let's get started with our new destination, New Zealand. So do you know where this place lies? Any answers? Okay, next Sonal. So New Zealand, this is an island country which lies in the southwestern Pacific Oceans. So it consists of two main land masses, that is the North Island and the South Island, as you can see this in zoom picture. So this place has over 700 smaller islands and this country it covers about 26,821,000 lakh, uh, lakh square kilometer of area. Next. So now talking about the major cities, it's Auckland, Rotura, Wellington, Blaheim, then Kalkura, Christchurch, then Mount Cook, then Dunedin, then Turnau, then Milford Sound, then Queenstown, Franz Joseph Glacier, Punakaki, Greymouth, Arthur's Pass, and Christchurch. So these are the main cities of this country. Next. Now we will talk about the flag of the New Zealand. The New Zealand flag is the symbol of Reem government and the people of the New Zealand. So its royal blue background is derived from the sign of blue squadron of the Royal Navy and the south of the Southern Cross emphasizes the country's location in South Pacific Ocean. So I hope all of you have now know that where is this country located. Can you answer me the location of this New Zealand? Where is New Zealand located? I just told you. Okay, so it is located in the Southern Pacific Ocean. Okay, next. Now we will have a quick overview of the history. So the history of New Zealand date back approximately 700 years. So it was first discovered and settled by the Polynesians who developed a distinct Maori culture. So New Zealand is widely known for its Maori culture. So like other Pacific culture, Maori society was centered on the kingship lengths and the connection with the land, but unlike them, it was adapted to a cool temperate environment rather than a warm or the tropical one. Next. Okay, so how was this place discovered? As you can see, this is a small island which lies in the Pacific Ocean. So the first European explorer which was known to the site New Zealand was a Dutch navigator. His name was Abel Tasman. So he navigated to this place on 13 November 1642. So, as in 1643, he charted the west coast of the North Island, his ex expedition, and then he sailed back to the Batavia without setting on a foot to New Zealand soil. So, he was a navigator who first discovered this place, but he went back. Next. So, in 1840, the Treaty of Vatangi was signed between the representatives of United Kingdom and the various Maori chiefs, bringing New Zealand into a British Empire and giving some Maori same writer subjects, British subjects. So, New Zealand, as I speak for the current place, so it consists of two basic cultures that is of British as well as the Maori. The colony gained its responsible government in the 1850s. So from the 1890s, the New Zealand parliament came into the introduction. Next. Okay, so can you guess what is this Wellington place in the New Zealand? Capital of New Zealand. Yes, it's the capital of the New Zealand. Next. Okay, so Auckland. Auckland is the largest city in the New Zealand. And can you see this a big tower that is in green in color? 
Do you know what the star is? Okay, so this is the sky tower. So many of you must know that much of the abroad countries have a particular tower, sky tower of a place. So the New Zealand star, sky tower is in Auckland. So this sky tower offers a variety of adventure sports. You can also, here on the top of the star, there is a restaurant. And this place also offers the skydiving from this point. Next. Now, we will be talking about the languages spoken in the New Zealand. So in New Zealand, the most common languages spoken are English and Mori. And you will be surprised to know that other than the English and Mori, there are many different languages that are being spoken into this place. So as you can see, this is the map and the color over here represents the different languages being spoken in this particular region. So first, Ma, if I, yes. What is that white color box? What is that you, Gen Z sign language? What can you, what do you know? Uh, like, what can you guess about this? Tell me. Like hand signs. Yeah, this is the NZ means New Zealand. It is written as a short form of New Zealand. So this is a sign language, which is spoken by the Mori people. So it okay. is the language of the Mori people, which is named as a sign language. And other than that, you can see the yellow. This is the Africa. Then you can see the major parts as blue. So this blue region is the French speaking region. Then comes the black, which is the German. And also there is some part where Hindi is also spoken. Then the white portion covers the Hindi sign. is spoken only in one city. It is showing the wide area, like where most of the people speak that is, Hindi. That just a dot. No, that's not just a dot. You can see both over in the North Island as well as in the South yes, Island. Yes, ma'am. This is Togan. Yeah. And then uh, we have uh, Togan and the Tangloa. So these are the different okay, languages that are being spoken in, in New Zealand. Now, talking about the culture of the New Zealand, as I told you about this, the place, this place was discovered by the Mori people, right? So the New Zealand is a multicultural country and it has five largest ethnic groups being the New Zealand European, Maori, Chinese, Samoan and Indian. So these are the five major communities which are held in this country. So as a multicultural society, its people are very welcoming and friendly towards a visitor from the other places. And this makes the country New Zealand more uh, like friendly and they build a good relationship across the globe and they assimilate into the society. Okay, next. So now talking about the New Zealand government, so can you see a picture? Can you guess who is this person? Jacinda Ardern. Prime Minister. Yes, she is the Prime Minister of the New Zealand and she has been opted for the second continuous time as the PM of New Zealand. So talking about the government of New Zealand, it is a part of the British Commonwealth, which is a constitutional monarchy with the parliament system of government. So the head of the state is British sovereign and the governor general represents the queen in the New Zealand. So this place has a queen rule. The country operates under a system of responsible government so a system in which government of ministers must be first elected as the member of house of the representatives. Now, talking about the population of New Zealand. So current population is 5.212 million. As this is the migrant nation, so this place offers welcome to people across the globe. And including the migrants, the population becomes 5.212 million. So New Zealand is home to various people and it is predominantly made up of two cultural groups, which I already told, that is Maori 
and the European ancestors. So more than 53% of the population of the New Zealand lives in the largest cities. So some of the largest cities of New Zealand is Wellington, Auckland, Christchurch, which lies in North Island, and the Hamilton, which lies in the South Island. Next. Okay, so you can guess this. This is the currency of the New Zealand, which is known as New Zealand dollar. So can anybody tell me the value of New Zealand dollar into Indian currency? Any answers? Okay, so it is uh, approximately about one uh, NZ dollar is equal to 52.69, I guess, Indian rupees. Okay, next. Now talking about the national sport. So can you guess this game? Can you get any idea through this picture? Could be. Hmm? Rugby. Yes. So rugby no. is the national sport of the New Zealand and even the national sport channels of this place covers the 50% news for the rugby games only. And the rest 50% of the games they play is cricket and other. Now talking about a wide range of animals which we can see in New Zealand. So first is kiwi. Second is Kia, then third is Totara, then Woodswallow, Falcon, New Zealand Lesser Short, Tail Bat, then New Zealand Sea Lion, then Chevron uh, Shink, then, Tui, then uh, Hector's Dolphin, then is Fallow Deer, then Kakapo, Fur Seal, Pacific Gecko, and Urban Skink. Okay, so do you know the national animal of New Zealand? Ma'am, kiwi. Kiwi. Yes, so kiwi is often termed as the national symbol of the New Zealand. Next, next please. So here you can see a clear picture of kiwi. And do you know, uh, like, uh, which is the major fruit you can find in New Zealand? Kiwi. Yes, kiwi itself, like you can find a huge number of kiwi trees in New Zealand. Like each of the house has so many kiwi trees. Man, because it's the national fruit of the New Zealand. Yes, so it is a national fruit as well as the national animal. So they named kiwi as the national symbol of New Zealand. Okay, coming up to the next, that is the national food. So can you guess this dish? What can you see? Strawberries and blueberries. Yes. So creamy pies are the favorite food of the New Zealand people. And the dish you can see on the screen is named as pa pavlova. So this is the one of the food icons which is eaten in Australia as well as in New Zealand. Next. Ma'am? Yes? Go to the before picture, ma'am. I want to ask you a question. Yes? Previous uh, slides, one. Yes, Tanvi. What is that, that creamy substances? This is the sweet pie. The, uh, do you know how cake is the cake cream? Do you yes, know about that? Have you so yes. The cream? Yes. So it's the that cream, and over that they have a uh, they have decorated. I also ate this dish, ma'am. My 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 uncle bought it from Russia. Okay. Next. So here you can see a wide variety of food. Is that the fish, ma'am? Yes. So they eat like bacons. They have egg. Also what is can... that, ma'am? Like slimy substances like ice. Please let me speak. I am telling. Okay. So here you can see a wide variety of food, right? So this food, uh, at the right side, you can see this is the layer of pies.
they like to have as a dessert and on the other hand they have a wide variety of bacons and egg they have steak and uh, they have cheese and potato as a top pies and kiwi uh, do you know as a, as always that kiwi is a national fruit so other than that they have salmon they have butter chicken and they have lamb and mint so most of the food varieties consist of the chicken or the meat i can say ma'am yes kiona today for lunch no i had butter chicken oh that's great okay next now uh, talking about the climate of this place so as you all know that new zealand is located in the southern hemisphere so uh, with that makes its seasons little opposite to those who are living in the northern hemisphere so if i talk about the weather seasons in the new zealand so the summer summer lasts in the december to february so as in india this uh, in december to february we have winters so but in new zealand the summer lasts from december to february and if i talk about the autumn so autumn lies from march to may and the winter lies from the june to august and the spring lies from september to november okay so now we have a very amazing video for you So I hope you all will enjoy this video. Very nice. It was nice, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It was. I want nice. to go to that. So, which place do you find the most exciting one? Ah, uh, the beach, ma'am. There oh, okay. are sliding the sky tower. Okay. And the forest. Okay. Mama, the ice place. Ma okay. And man, the cave. In okay. When I go in summer, I will first go to the beach. Okay. Now you start presenting, ma'am. Ma'am, can ma I present? Just wait for a while. We having another Mami session. Ma okay, ma'am. If you see, okay, ma'am. Ah, uh, my name is Tanvi. Nisa do you want to say something? Yes ma'am. Yes please. Ma'am my favorite places was the sky tower and the beach. Okay that's great. So have you been to New Zealand before? No ma'am. Oh that's okay. Ma'am I love surfing in the water and uh, bungee jumping ma'am. Okay. Miss Canada let's Which country are you going to learn tomorrow? So tomorrow we will be visiting Norway. Okay. Ma'am on Monday. Ma'am, did you yes, see a co-host? Miss, I'm not a co-host. I can't present my screen. Ma'am, can I present now? Uh, Ma'am, we we'll wait a second, Tanvi. We have some uh, left. Some slides are left. So let's just complete it. Then we can have yours. Just a second. I'll okay, share. Ma'am. Thank you. Uh, is the screen visible? Yes. Okay, so now we will talk about the airline industry of New Zealand. So, can you guess what is the airline industry of New Zealand? The national airlines. Any answers? Air New Zealand. Air New Zealand. Yes. So, the national flag carrier of New Zealand is Air New Zealand. Next slide. Next. Uh, 
Okay, so Airnet New Zealand is the limited flag carrier airline of New Zealand, which is based in Auckland. So this airline operates a scheduled passenger flights to 20 domestic and 32 international destinations, and it spreads over 20 countries. So Air New Zealand currently operates a fleet of Airbus, Boeing, Bombardier, and ATR aircraft. So I'll show you how these aircraft are next. Okay, so here you can see the uh, fleet of uh, Air New Zealand. So first aircraft, you can see the series of Boeing. And next to that, we have uh, two uh, Airbus types. And then we have ATR 72 and the Bombardier as well. Nice. Okay, next. So, if I talk about the worldwide ranking of Air New Zealand, so it is awarded as the world's best airlines for the 2020 by airlinesrating.com and it was awarded as the world's only safety and product rating website, which is the airline of the year, Air New Zealand. Next slide. So here I have put a list of the one of the world's top as safest airlines for 2021. So here you can see Air New Zealand uh, occupies holds the third place, whereas on the first, Qantas is the world's safest airline for 2021. So here we can see a list of 20 airlines. So first being Qantas, second being Qatar Airways, and Ireland, Air New Zealand holds the third position as the safest airlines of 2021. Okay, so that was all from my side. I hope you have enjoyed your tour to New Zealand with me. So now we can have your presentations. Ma'am, uh, can I present first? Okay. Okay, then first Tanvi, then Kendra, can then the Subhanita. Then only yeah. I can press it. Sure. Okay, so we are having Kendrick uh, PPT. So first we'll look into this. Okay, ma'am. You can start presenting, Kendrick. Uh, Kendrick, unmute your mic. We cannot hear you. The capital. The capital of New Zealand is Wellington. On July 2015, marks the 150th anniversary on Wellington, becoming New Zealand's capital city. Ever since 1865, Wellington's identity can click your screen share stop. Please share your screen again. Okay, uh, please play with the settings. Okay, uh, stop playing with the... Ma'am, can you able to see my screen? Yes. Uh, please, please, please play one by one. I cannot see both of your screens at one time. So Tanvi, just wait for uh, Kendrick to complete. Then we can have yours, okay? Okay, ma'am. Yeah, please. And please uh, don't annotate. Stop annotating on the screen.
Good afternoon, teachers and my dear friends. Today, I have prepared a watch. I have prepared a PPT on my virtual tour of New Zealand. Ma'am, I can ask you to see the screen. He stopped sharing. I do, ma'am. Okay, uh, Kendrick, I think there is some problem at your end. So just wait and uh, let Tanvi share. Then we can have yours if, uh, if it is possible. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Now I can. Yeah, please. One second, please. Welcome, everyone, to New Zealand. Kendrick. Can you please stop presenting? I am pressing the screen. Ma'am, Kendrick okay, is Ken presenting. Wait, uh, just a second, just a second. Kendrick, can you stop presenting? Let Tanvi present. I think there is some problem at your end. So, uh, let first present her. Then we will have yours. Please wait. Yeah, Tanvi, you can now present. Welcome to New Zealand. One second, everyone. Can you see? Yes, Tanvi. Yes. Yes. yes, Tanvi. Yes, yes. Anma. Ma'am, I can't see properly. It is blur. Now, can you see? Yes, yes, yes. We the can. Uh, we can explain your. Okay. The capital of New Zealand is Wellington. Please stop annotating. Someone annotated this screen, ma'am. Please don't annotate. Please everyone don't annotate and let her finish her presentation. Anna, annotation. Miss, can I present my screen? Just, One second just... everyone, because of the annotation I got uh, a problem. Wait, Kendrick, wait. Let her present first. We cannot hear you, Tanvi. And now can you hear me? Yes, yes. And this is the flag of New Zealand. One second. Okay, the famous foods of New Zealand. Let's see it. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. And this is the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Jack Kinda Arden. And this is the national game of New Zealand is rugby. The national bird of New Zealand is kiwi bird. Thank you. Thank you, Tanvi. You have used very beautiful pictures. Uh, so now you can uh, stop sharing. Bye, ma'am. Bye. Thank you. Yes, Kendrick, you can share now.
yes. Miss, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Can see it, can can read. Good afternoon, teacher, and my dear friends. Today I have prepared a presentation on my virtual tour of New Zealand. The capital, the capital of New Zealand is Wellington. On July two thousand and fifteen marks the one fiftieth anniversary of Wellington becoming New Zealand's capital city. Ever since eighteen sixty five, Wellington's identity has been inextricably linked. to its role as a seat of central government the currency new zealand's currency is dollars new zealand's unit of currency is dollar and as dollar all major credit cards can be used in new zealand with visa and mastercard accepted most widely national flower new zealand does not have an official national flower but the silver fern sitia gilbata which appears on army sporting team uniforms is an unofficial national emblem the national animal kiwi in new zealand however the national bird and animal is one and the same the humble kiwi the kiwi is the flightless bird that's quite different to other species it is nocturnal its feathers are quite furry and it is the only bird with nostrils right at tip of its beak Hendrik, we can't hear you. I, I think there is flag. some problem. The New Zealand flag is a symbol of the Rim government. Yes. Okay. Okay. Go on, Hendrik. We can hear you. Live from the ensign of the Blue Squad of the Royal Navy. We can't hear him, ma'am. Now we can't hear you. Again. The stars of the Southern Cross. But even that wasn't the first flag. Thank you. Mute yourself, Ken. by most lang english speaking new zealanders ma'am someone is annotating on the screen ma'am don't annotate please who is annotating on the screen i can see your name also so please don't annotate can you please 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 Can also uh, remove the anode. Yes, we can see. Everyone on mute, please let him speak. Let him speak. Yes, uh, Kendrick. Do I start from the beginning? No, no. You can uh, continue from here only. The national language English, New Zealand English (NSE) is the dialect of the English language spoken. and written by most english speaking new zealanders its language code and english maori maori language eastern polynesian group of the eastern austronesian oceanic languages spoken in the cook islands and new zealand since the maori language of polynesian is It has been one of the two official languages of New Zealand. Okay. What is this, Kendrick? Yes, of the number of men. Okay, uh, Kendrick. I think there is some uh, issue from uh, your end. We cannot hear you clearly. Uh, your voice is breaking. 
so we can have your presentation some other day when uh, your network is good okay excuse me ma'am yes can i do the ppt on monday sure sure you can do okay ma'am should okay. i send it but kendrick your yes you can send your presentation is also very nice so uh, ma'am should i send in whatsapp or email whatsapp okay ma'am Okay. Uh, so Subhanita so, was also there. She wanted to present. Ma Are you here, Subhanita? Alt, ma'am. Subhanita, yes, ma you can press the screen. Can I do the photos now? Ah, uh, Subhanita, holiday, ma'am. Subhanita, mute yourself. There is a big disturbance. Tomorrow is a holiday, ma'am. Yes, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, both Saturday and Sunday is a holiday, so we will meet on Monday. Ma'am, you know New Zealand is my favorite country. Oh wow! USA is oh. my favorite country. My my uh, foe lives there, and she has a bungalow over there. Oh, very good. That's nice. Uh, so I think Subhanita, you also have some network issues. Ma'am, did uh, you understand? I'm sorry, ma'am. It's sound. Fan sound, so I cannot present. Let me start, ma'am. One second. No, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not not new. Not New Zealand. Not. Yes, ma'am. Can you see the slide? Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So I welcome everyone. I welcome everyone to the uh, New Zealand. So the general info of New Zealand. So the there there are four point four million population. Uh, Fifteen most populous uh, country on earth. Sixteen regions. Okay. Uh, and the, these are the language pop uh, language population the currency of new zealand is new zealand dollar and if you see the food there you have the savory pies fish and chips southland southland cheese rolls and where is new zealand located so in our earth the new zealand is located here I don't think so. You can see here in the small red color part. So the next is our New Zealand map. So here you can see the New Zealand map. The culture of New Zealand. So if we have some of the festivals, the women wear like these dresses, and the men wear like these, and the small small children wear like these dresses. <laughs> The Prime Minister is Jacinta Ardern. She she was born on twenty six July nineteen eighty. Her age is forty years now. And the President of New Zealand is Debbie Hockley. So here's the picture of her. Yes, the beautiful places: Auckland, Queenstown, the Crystal Wellington. So the capital of New Zealand is Wellington. So this is the official flag of New Zealand. So but the real flag of New Zealand is this only. The unofficial. This is the unofficial. Uh, this is the unofficial flag of New Zealand. And above the flag of New Zealand. The flag of of New Zealand, where you the T Hako or area, also known as the New Land, and sign is based on the British mantle. Blue and sign and blue feed with the Union Jack and the Canton upper hostel corner, augment on the face with four red stars. Centered within four white stars representing the southern southern cross. So the airlines. So airlines of the. So the airlines of. Uh, 
the airlines of uh, new zealand is air new zealand so you can see the symbol here of air new zealand and so here is the national fruit is kiwi and the national color of uh, new zealand is dark blue the national bird is also known as kiwi so if you know that uh, like the woodpecker it has the nose so it is very long than the woodpecker's mouth so the national flower is kohahi so new zealand national flower is this the national sport is rugby union national dress so in new zealand they wear like these tattoos for men so this is the tradition of them also national tree is silver fern so the popular symbol of uh, new zealand is dev dobu so thank you for seeing my presentation thank you subhinita so you made this ppt on your own yes ma'am okay uh, thank you you can stop presenting yes ma'am uh, i have a doubt yes uh one one second so the doubt on this is uh ma'am can you hear me yes i can hear you yes ma'am my doubt is what we are what is this uh, country we are going to visit on uh, visit on um, monday monday we will be visiting norway can you tell repeat it ma'am